The other thing I was listening to a lot when I was making that first record was blues. So as you can hear, Black Horse and the Cherry Tree is 100% completely influenced by the blues. I was listening to a lot of uh, lesser known kind of anonymous blues music that was all recorded on one mic in the middle of the room and whoever had the solo would walk up to the mic and step back again. And I was just really kind of locking in that connection with my writing to rhythm and how important rhythm is to my writing and being a rhythm player. It's interesting with music, there's this line where plagiarism comes into play, but all the way up to that line is the tradition of the digestion of music that you love surfacing in what you're making yourself. It's a beautiful tradition. I mean, it's, you, you know, you've seen it more recently with hip hop and, and, the, and, and sampling. There's kind of an unspoken rule that as long as you take what you're taking and use it really well and make it your own, then it's okay. And I, I, I do agree with that. I think it's a really, it's, a, it's storytelling. It's, 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 the, it's a very old, ancient, folk tale, folk singing tradition of taking songs and changing them and it mutates over time and you can trace this kind of ancestry of sound through many, many, many songs. And in this one, I straight up took from Bo Diddley's beat, which is called the Hambone beat because blues musicians used to hit their bodies. They'd hit their thighs. I can't do it. If you, if you look up Hambone, be on YouTube, you'll see some amazing videos of musicians using their bodies as drum kits, basically. And this is the handbone beat that Bo Diddley used in a lot of his music, but he, he apparently heard it when he was 11 years old, and that was him hooked on the handbone beat, and he brought it to the world, and of course it's that. And it's used everywhere. Oh, well, I guess it would be nice if I could. So Faith desire you to, I mean, it's just on and on and on. There's so many songs that use that beat, but that's the beat I wanted to use. On the track, on the album, there's kind of layers of percussion that help that, but you can easily achieve that rhythm just on your own with, it's, it's much easier with a pick, I would say that, that if you're playing with your fingers, you're probably gonna end up with no nails <laughs> at the end of it. So the pick from a percussion point of view when you're playing guitar is a really great tool. So when I play the song live, uh, instead of just going straight in, I really like to kind of pay homage to that Bo Diddley beat using the rhythm of the guitar. And bends. I love bending the strings on my guitar. It sounds so cool. And you've just got to get just get strong in the hand for that stuff. But the other thing that's nice um, with this song, because it's so well known, uh, it's always nice to, to tease the song everyone knows and it sort of gives a little teaser that you're gonna play it. 